The secret of success in the competitive jungle is specializing, and this has led to the evolution of some very intimate relationships between plants and animals. These are pitcher plants, also from Borneo. Adapted to living in very low nutrient soils, the pitcher plant gets most of its nourishment from insects lured to nectar glands on the underside of the lids. Once on board, the waxy sides of the pitcher ensure there's little chance of escape. Most slip to a watery grave. At the bottom of the pitcher, glands secrete enzymes which help to digest the corpses, so feeding the plant. But not all visitors have a fatal attraction to the pitchers. The red crab spider spends its entire life in the pitchers, hanging on with threads of silk. Instead of building a web, it relies on the water-filled pitcher to trap its food. When an ant falls in, the spider simply waits for it to drown, and then abseils down for a spot of fishing. Alive, this ant would be far too dangerous for the spider to tackle, so using the pitchers as traps means it can get bigger meals. And the spider doesn't rob the pitcher of everything. The digested remains of its booty will end up in the water, providing instant food for the plant. Other food, like mosquito larvae, seems to be out of reach, but the spider has another surprising trick. By taking its own air supply trapped in a bubble, the crab spider can actually dive to the very bottom of the pitcher. Once the prey is captured, the spider hauls itself back up its silken safety line. The pitcher is a one-stop shop for this spider, but it's not alone. In the jungle, there's competition for everything, even a small water-filled pitcher plant. 